Hey crafters, welcome in to Guys Craft 2. My name is John, and thanks for dropping in. Um, I thought about doing this as a live earlier, just forgot to post it, and I thought, you know what, let's just, um, I don't always have to do lives, right? Sometimes I can just record and just kind of talk and ramble on without um, anything crazy. But this segment I'm calling the mailbag. So if you follow our um YouTube channel, you know that we are shoppers, you know that we enjoy ordering things, and but I've been really proud, right, because I've cut way back this year, hadn't been getting that much, and then all of a sudden yesterday, it was like just post-holiday, all of a sudden, all this stuff showed up. So I'll be honest, I'm not even sure what all is in here, so I thought it would just be fun just to open that with everyone and kind of see what's been going on. So the first thing I've got came in from Washington State from Quilting Mayhem. So Lord only knows what I signed up or bought there. So let's figure this out, right? So Quilting Mayhem is... Actually made it in the garbage can. This is a Quilting Mayhem 2024 monthly subscription. Kimberball Fat quarter subscription. Kimberbill Fabric coming this fall. <coughs> Excuse me. This is month two. Oh, this is month two of the Kona Cotton Solids uh, Block of the Month Club. It's a beginner level. I have yet to do uh, block one. But that's okay. We will get caught up. I do like this. I do think that's a cute pattern. And I think overall this is 16 and a half by 16 and a half. So this will end up being a nice quilt at the end of the day. Modus, modus color choices, I believe. I'm not even sure where I've put it now. That's why I'm kind of looking around. I think orange was month one. So the pinks and the burgundies and that for month two with um, Valentine's Day and all that just simply makes sense. This actually was, I did order it through Quilting Mayhem. They're up in Washington State in Sonomish. I know I have no idea how to pronounce that. That's not a word we would have ever had in Kentucky. Um, this was only $25 a month. So some of you may think that's expensive. Um, I just don't think it's that expensive. Gives me a cute pattern to go by. Sorry, let me close it up. Gives a cute pattern to go by, and they give me all the fabrics, along with some cool advertisements. And, you know, for once, we're just going to toss those ads in the um, garbage so John doesn't look at those, so John doesn't lose any more control than he has. So it comes with the white fabric. It comes with, oh, they even say on here, look, how cute is this? It's white fabric, and it says white fabric. Now, it would have been nice had they done that on the pink, but they didn't. Uh, I think this is called bright pink. This one, I believe, is crimson. Um, this may be wine. Pomegranate. I am betting this is honeysuckle, candy pink, and oh, this oh, and this is probably I say peony, but I know it's not peony. But okay, y'all forgive me. So um, that'll be a fun project to get put together. Kind of excited about that. I do need to get uh, focused and kind of get these going. Um, along with all the other projects that I've got on the list. But you know what? It is what it is. And I'm enjoying life and I'm enjoying having um, my quilts. So with that said, I will put this actually over in the nice box they sent me in January. And we will keep all of these together. So as I start stitching these out, I can have all the blocks together. The nice thing is I did order the art bins so I do have a nice, um, what, 12 by 12, 14 by 14 art bin that I can place all these in as they become works in progress. So that was package one. Package two is from the Fat Quarter Shop. So this may be a subscription. It may be something that was on sale that I decided I couldn't live without. 
but I'm not sure. So let's take a look here and get this opened. Interesting. Um, it is another project of the month. Oh my gosh. And so here's the problem, right? When you order and work through multiple websites and you forget and don't track what you've done, look what John managed to do. John has now subscribed twice to the uh, door banner of the month through Riley Britt Blake. So I have already received this. I have already um, put this on the shelf to work on because I really did like this. Uh, I don't have to worry about duplicating the pattern now because obviously I own two of these. So uh, we'll see. I may end up doing this twice. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep this kit all together in place. I may actually just put it over on our Etsy store and just sell that uh, outright to someone that did not subscribe because um, I had no idea that I duplicated the subscription. So it looks like I might have duplicates coming every month now. So that was from the Fat Quarter Shop. Now, with that said, so yes, John needs to start making a list and keeping up a lot better. Fortunately, Curtis does not watch uh, our YouTubes and our YouTube Lives, which is to his detriment. And he's not home right now. And I will put that on the shelf long before he gets home so he doesn't know that I spent the same money twice on the same thing. The next item up for auction is Open Gate Quilts Box. This is my monthly subscription box. This is one of two that I am left with, uh, yeah, I believe, in 2024, because I don't count the, uh, like the cone, you know, like we just look at the Moda. That's a block of the month club. This door uh, is a block of the month, basically, door of the month. Um, I will not be carrying those into 2025, I'm sure. Um, but I did want to do those this year because I thought they were cool and reasonable. But Open Gate Quilts, there's something about Open Gate Quilts. You've heard me talk about them before. Their customer service is amazing. I wish I could spend and do more with them. Um, but I do like a lot. And one of the things I do appreciate is their monthly subscription box. Always comes wrapped in nice tissue with a, a sticker from them, Open Gate Quilts. And then it usually has a letter. So let's open that up. And there it is. So here's a letter to tell me everything and anything that's in this box. And I can attest and tell you right now that I am probably going to love everything in this silly little box. So first thing is Project One was a special deal quilt. And uh, I say deal, and it's D-I-E-H-L. And it includes fabrics from Quiet Grace by Kim Deal for Henry Glass Fabrics. A full color pattern and picture. So that, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get away from me. So that is this collection. And here is the pattern. So when this is done, this is 27 by 27 inches. So what that tells me is this is going to be a project that sits on the shelf for a while because this is going to be very small if the finish is 27 by 27 inches, which just means I've got to cut some pretty small triangles and then I'm expected to sew them. Um, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. I do like this quilt. I do like the pattern. And I probably will fall in love with these colors. So when you look, here is the main piece of fabric, right? And then it breaks down to this green. Look how cool that is. Along with this maroon. Sorry, I'm trying to keep these together so I can actually get them back in the box, which is probably not going to happen anyways, but... Uh, Try to convince myself it will. Here's the next green. I do like that. This brown. Look at this. How beautiful is that uh, fabric? Brown again. And then this green goat. All right, so here's what I can tell you. If you are looking at these together, these are absolutely gorgeous 
all these colors together. They are absolutely not colors I would have picked. They are absolutely something I probably would have walked by, or if it just popped up on the screen, I probably would not have grabbed these, but I couldn't be more excited to have them. I mean, look how pretty, how beautiful that quilt's going to turn out when I finally get to put all these colors together. So I really do like these colors, and it, I think that's what I like so much about Monique and what they do down at uh, Open Gates is she gives me color combinations in that that just really resonate with me for some reason, but it's not colors that I typically would purchase or think about buying and putting together, and so she does. So how amazing is that? So that is a project that for now will go on a shelf somewhere, but we'll definitely end up, as my skills improve a little bit, uh, we'll get stitched out. All right, next one is a set of four coasters. So Coaster Fabric from Land of Enchantment uh, by Sarah Diddy for Moda Fabrics, the backing fabric, the fusible fleece, and the pattern. So look... I mean, when you talk about doing coasters, you couldn't pick a better fabric than that. And so it looks like she's cut those four pieces for us, uh, made it simple. So this is a project that will probably float closer to the top and something that I will knock out sooner rather than later. But yes, I mean, these are going to be cool. These are going to be super duper cool. And oh, look. So you've got four different coasters, four different patterns. So you've got this one, which is just wild, that transitions to this coaster, to this coaster, to ultimately this coaster. So again, I love everything typically that Open Gate sends me. Um, I don't know what it is about the way they select and choose stuff, but I, I am always just excited to get their box and excited for uh, the projects that are there. So their Christmas box was just amazing. All right, so that is that. Let me get this put back together, please. All right, so that was project two. So there's always two projects in the box. Uh, next is the notion of the month is a magnetic pin picker. So for those lazy days, graphic impressions, and just a way of picking up, I'm assuming, metals and Yes. Look at that. How cool is that? So when I drop things in that, and Curtis hears me sometimes because I feel like gravity is not my friend, um, this is really cool. So um, again, what a great notion, right? So very happy with that. And then Aurifil Thread. This month is dark blue. So Curtis goes, why do you keep buying all these little spools of thread? Because you have you know, bigger ones than mega ones. I'm like, oh, they come in my box. So um, I do like that I'm getting a nice collection of some varied thread from them. Also came with a um, fat quarter this month, and that is the XOXO by April Rosenthal for uh, Moda Fabrics. So I picked up another fat quarter from them, which is kind of cool. They do have add-ons and different things. I don't do the add-ons. Um, they do offer a class that will help us do the projects. I have yet to do them. I've recorded them or saved them over uh, and really would like to tune in and see what uh, goes on in one of those. I just haven't done that. So with me cutting back, with me reserving, with me saving lots of money uh, this year, <laughs> I uh, managed to get a February 2024 box from Open Gate Quilts. Managed to get the door uh, banner again, uh, and this time from Fat Quarter. So hopefully, let's hope I only subscribe twice to two different companies and not uh, three times. And then, uh, what was the other one? Oh my goodness. Oh, and then my uh, Moda uh, Kona Cottons um, Block of the Month Club. So with that said, I so appreciate you jumping in, listening to me just ramble on just for a little bit. Uh, really was kind of an interesting mailbag, mail call. 
My name's John. You landed in Guy's Craft 2. If you like what you heard, if you like what I'm doing, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, we love to read all the comments and that about our videos, so please leave a comment below. Please tell your friends, neighbors, preachers, teachers, anyone that'll listen about our channel and um, hit that subscribe button. Our subscribers mean a lot. Our subscribers tell us that we're doing something that makes sense. We're very new into quilting, so like when I tell you, it may be a while before we do this project just because it's such small piecing. It's because we're so new and because we're still learning some techniques and we'll get there and we can get there together. So with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you for dropping in and until next time, happy crafting.